Virology Institute also conducted research on intermediate horseshoe bats, the ones that were not sold at the wet market. South China University scientists concluded that the coronavirus pandemic, the one that people are dying from here, likely came from one of these two government labs in Wuhan. They noticed that a scientist at the Wuhan Center for Disease Control and Prevention had been exposed to the blood and urine of horseshoe bats. They also suggested that infected tissue samples from research animals may have wound up in the Wuhan wet market. That was 16 days ago. We've taken an awful lot of abuse for airing that segment. From the very beginning, there were theories that the Wuhan coronavirus originated in a laboratory. We covered those repeatedly on the show, including what you just saw. But from the beginning, most of the press treated that as a conspiracy theory. China denies it. It must be true. Turns out, though, there is real evidence, and it's accumulating really quickly, that this pandemic came from a lab in Wuhan. Fox's special reporter spoke with multiple sources in the U.S. government, highly informed sources, who've been briefed on China's early actions during this pandemic. Those sources say that from the beginning, Chinese authorities knew that this virus escaped from a laboratory. Those authorities silenced physicians and journalists in China and then ordered viral samples to be destroyed. The wet market theory was made up whole cloth as a distraction to muddy the waters and avoid the blame. As we reported on this show, 59 separate people who used the Wuhan wet market said intermediate horseshoe bats were not for sale there. They were hundreds of miles away, the closest colonies of those bats. It was a lie, apparently, and it was a lie that cost this world trillions of dollars and many thousands of lives. Gordon Chang is author of The Coming Collapse of China. He joins us tonight. Gordon, thanks so much for coming on. So as we just noted, high-level U.S. government sources confirmed that they believe this virus escaped from either the Wuhan Institute of Virology or the other lab in Wuhan. Do you think that's plausible? Yeah, it's not only plausible, it's probable. There was an article in The Lancet, which is the authoritative British medical journal. I think it was posted January 24, which said about a third of the initial cases had no connection with the Wuhan wet market that everyone talked about. That means that there had to be another source for this. And when you look at Wuhan, um, obviously that Wuhan Institute of Virology is at the top of the list of suspects. And by the way, Tucker, China reopened wet markets about a week ago. And that's a real indication that Beijing thought that, or that Beijing knew that the wet markets were not the source of the coronavirus epidemic. So let me ask you, since this was always a plausible, in my view, a likely explanation for what happened, and again, I just want to restate, apparently it was accidental, not intentional, we don't know, but that seems likely. Given that it was always a real possibility, why did our medical establishment in this country scramble from day one to deny that that could ever have happened? The head of NIH sent a special memo saying, we've looked into it, there's no chance, it's disgusting, anyone would claim this about the government of China. Why were our officials, including the head of NIH, covering for China? I think that there are a couple factors at work. Uh, one of them is that the release of uh, from a lab is just unthinkable. Um, and that would call into question all of these bio labs around the world. Remember, this was a P4 facility. It had the highest level of security. And so if you had an accident there, just imagine what people would be saying about labs around the world. But also, I think that there was a sense that uh, they were working with China. They didn't want to get China upset. We've seen, you know, many American officials use this general approach. And it hasn't worked in the past. And obviously, it hasn't worked now, Tucker. It's just shocking. Do, I mean, do you think our own health authority, first of all, do you think it would be worthwhile for everyone who dismissed this out of hand as crazy and attacked the people who raised the possibility? Maybe it would be time for them to apologize for their behavior, account for it, and start some real reporting on this question, because it's a significant question. It actually matters. Yeah, it matters. It's very consequential. And I think what this really says is that all of our policymakers, all of our analysts, our academics, really need to go back and question their assumptions about what happened yes. and, in general, the way they view China. 
because clearly we have been getting it wrong for a long time, and now this has had consequences which are just disastrous. We are going to bury many Americans because of this. That's exactly right. They should be questioning their assumptions. That's something we should all do every single day. After our morning cup of coffee and calisthenics, question your assumptions, because reality changes fast. Gordon Cheng, thank you for that. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you, Tucker.